Congress is taking some steps to help. Yesterday, they appropriated $3 billion in emergency funds for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, that's SNAP, the nation's food stamp program. Now, according to CBS News, the funds will not cover all of February's obligations. That means if the government is not reopened before March 1st, millions of Americans who receive benefits from SNAP could have their assistance disrupted, meaning millions of Americans could face severe cuts to food stamps. Well, this afternoon, CBS 2's Sarah Jacobson is live. She's at the Idaho Food Bank with how our local food banks are already preparing for a worst case scenario. Yeah, 221,800. That's the number of Idahoans who are considered food insecure, meaning they won't know where their next meal comes from. But it's this card, it's the Quest card, commonly known as a food stamp card. Now, this is what helps um, thousands within Idaho have access to healthy and nutritious food. And with the partial government shutdown going on at day 19, the Idaho Food Bank is now working to try to help out those thousands of Idahoans. Now, Karen Valk, president and CEO of the Idaho Food Bank, says SNAP, it's a major safety net for Idahoans who are struggling with food insecurity. But with no end in sight to the government shutdown, this need for food will fall to our local food banks and food pantries, which she says they can't sustain. She tells me in order to serve as many Idahoans as SNAP does, the Idaho Food Bank would need 20 times the volume of food. Now, while there's no specific timeline, she says that if the shutdown continues, eventually some families could have a harder time accessing not only affordable food, but nutritious foods. Now, she tells me that those are on furlough or those who are struggling and in need of food, you can find a Assistance. All you have to go is to the IdahoFoodBank.com. You can find um, different food banks in the area based on your zip code. We will also have that available for you on our website, IdahoNews.com. Reporting live in Boise, Sarah Jacobson, CBS 2 News.